smooth. It's easy, been the whole time. Easy there, Mr. Mephistopheles. <laughs> that song wasn't about you. That is not my name. My name is Matt. It is M-A-T-T. M-A-T-T. Is... Well, Master Chief, this next song is dedicated to you. I hate this. It had to be you. Ludo McGillicuddy <laughs> reminding you oh, to no. start getting rewards oh. for brushing your teeth today at getquip.com oh, slash oh, yeah. critical roll 25 and save 25% no, no, no. stay by <laughs> when you use code critical roll 25. Good night. That's making me sweat. And you have good habits. Continuing your way in the south southwestern <laughs> side of the city. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I have I cannot win. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> a very dual leap of you. I respect that. Um, beasts of burden that are kind of pulling their way through the street. You can hear the squeaking of wooden wheels. She made me do it. <laughs> it's a bunch of things that individually are good smells, but when they mix together, it creates this almost Sephora-like blast oh, uh, no. of, from all different directions. As soon as you step through, there, there are a, a a smattering of tables of all different of makes and designs. And what, pray tell, do you wish to ask of King Dressig? No way! Oh no. By that I mean, what would you like to drink? <laughs> and you see two gentlemen sitting at the table. Um, uh, I'm just going to have uh, have some water for me. Uh, what do you want? Like, I would like uh, just whatever beers you have on tap. Ha! <laughs> May the darkness of my reign bring you the drinks you require. <laughs> he turns around and drags his sword back over to the bar. Ha! And who disturbs the realm of Erevon the Rhyme Lord? Oh, oh no! Oh, yes! Oh, we, we surrender! Then you shall surrender into my realm <gasps> by the great mirror of ever watching. <gasps> How many is in your party? There's gonna be one, two, three, four, eight. 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 Two Erevon chairs. requires two more chairs! <laughs> <laughs> and grabs two more chairs and drags them behind over to a table. <laughs> I will have my revenge. Also a Thordax uh, pepper poppers, please. I'll see if we have any left. What, is a, what is a disappearing Singorn sausage? <laughs> 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 That's for our late night clientele. <laughs> for the dinner menu only. Cool, cool. I, I'm, I'm looking for people that help me. Like they in the Feywild? Mm -hmm. Or to get here? Both. They were very kind to me. Who, who are they? Um, I have, uh, and I pull out, I have a little uh, locket. And I open up, and there's a picture. Of one person or two? Of two. Both of them are unfamiliar to all of you except for you. <gasps> Two familiar <gasps> portraits of the Callaway parents that birthed you. How do you know them? In, from the Feywild. Do you know them? Yes. Yes, those are my parents. <laughs> what? They're the only things that really feel real still. You feel real. That's good. Can I use my Hunter's Bane to look at Dusk with knowing that she's been in the Feywild that long and just see if I notice anything about her, her clothes, her rapier, anything that sticks out as like Fey? Ah, uh, but the great prime deities give your blessings upon me so I might guide the free peoples to true freedom. As King Drusig pulls his blade up and then the fiddle stops and another Crank behind the counter begins to turn, and you hear this like crackling sound of voices going, oh, and the squeaking of a ratchet as another sword is lowered on a rope <laughs> from the ceiling. Grabs the sword, looks at it as King Drusik is slowly recoiling, pulling his blade back, going, no! She pulls the blade from the rope, which takes a second to kind of pull it free safely before turning around and very slowly bringing it to his throat and kind of touching it there, and he goes, ah! Oh! Oh, oh, she got it. Oh, I'll, I'll transfer suffering and take half the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. I was really buying the whole thing. <laughs> so it those gentlemen who were chasing you, Dusk, they were bad, right? I assumed so. 
And they jumped you, right? Inside check. <laughs> uh, that's 20, 25. Yeah, yeah. That's spicy. Uh, actually, I get to get an advantage. Oh, it was a one, which I get to reroll. It's another one. Oh, wow. But, uh, it was uh, at advantage. So I get to take the higher of the three rolls. So it's 25. Yeah, they jumped me. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I mean, they said they were really important in the court. Oh yes, very, very, very important. In the court, we're, we're very yes. Like they, judicial court? No, the the Seely court. My my family is pretty kind of a big deal. <gasps> You're fancy. Well, what does that mean? Like your royalty? Well, I mean, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. The C- the Seely Court. Yeah. You're, okay. a, you're a princess. That's a lot of politics. Well, I don't yeah, know if I, I if I would be a princess necessarily. Well, you're a princess. No, 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 no. Oh, sure. I mean, my parents would call me that. <laughs> but. Mm-hmm. Are you fucking serious? You're a princess. I mean. Are you Princess Fern? I certainly could be. You can call me that for sure. I mean, I didn't know they were like royalty, royalty. Like, I just know that they're. Now I feel bad for being fucking like shitty to Dorian. You know, they're. they're... I'm gonna rip off (laughs) your hat and throw it back at you. Ah! It's getting hot in here. (laughs) Do you have hair right now, No. 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 Still bald. (laughs) Imogen is very gifted, very capable at um, kind of peering into. One's minds and thoughts. I mean, I'm no slouch either, but. And, and, and fresh cut grass too. But Imogen is j- just. I mean, I'm, I'm equally. So different. talented, and he's also here. <laughs> and um, I don't, but I, I know you can elaborate from there. I don't want to. Oh, uh, okay. What a terrible thing Shit. one must devour oh, to you. celebrate the defeat of one such as the Rhyme Lord for one's winter crest. Oh, woe be unto the elemental kings. And as he puts his hand out, he sprinkles cinnamon across this like bowl with a series of straws in it that has like a like a thick cream-based kind of rum drink that has all manner of like, like so it's, after it's, the it, it has like like red and blue and green little puff balls that look like they've been kind of soaking a little bit and kind of like it a little, little soggy. And, this is kind of slosh around and he sprinkles the cinnamon on it. Oh. And then there's like a like a little spray of sugar on top. It's like snowfall, but he just kind of throws it. Like he just doesn't give a shit anymore and then walks away. I'll go, uh, Silver. You're killing it. Dusk. Thank you kindly. I'll kill you last. Ha 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 ha. I love you so much. Take this back before I can. Yeah, I. Um, Your gal pal really gassed you up there. And you here in your head. Yeah, I can um, I can look into to your mind if you would want something like that. But I, there's no guarantee. You know, we've we've run into issues before. It it could be complicated. It, it... Does anybody else hear that? She's saying something in your head. Uh, when she goes quiet like that, it's just you two. No. Yeah. We can tell that she's talking to somebody because her eyes cross while she's talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No. <laughs> That's canonically what no, happens. <laughs> you do not have a flesh tongue, and I do not cross my eyes. All right. Oh, I beg to do. Oh my god, I hate this. Birdie, I'm here with Fern and Dusk. They're both looking for you. We want to find you. Desperately. Oh my goodness. Our fern. Our fern! Did you hear that? It's been a while. <sighs> the music box that you have hanging from the ceiling, yes? is that for sale? No. May I propose a trade? I happen to have items from Taldor. I pull out an, an old teacup that is chipped, mm-hmm. but it has, it's a portrait of a woman, and underneath it, it reads the Lady of Whitestone. Mm. I purchased this for a very high amount 
from, I've never been there, but this is from a, from a, it was from there. <laughs> Chetney. Yes? Do you do engraving? Of course. Could I have you write to Mama Birdie and Papa Ollie on it? I mean, yes, just in, in common, plain font. Would you like more calligraphy and like filigree? <gasps> yes. Clearly. Well, is that longer? Is that an extra charge? Not for you. Really? You're giving it to me for free? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like anything in return? Let's just talk about it later. <laughs> Discerning customers, you will make fine victims to the Rhyme Lord when I freeze your corpses and leave them an eternal winter. Thank you, you guys have been great today, by the way. It's going to be a really slow afternoon, and you've really kind of picked it up, so. <laughs> FCG images look really good with the mice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I if you could do the same sort of well, thing I that I can do. I was trying to read okay. the, the subtle jitters of your of your irises as they as they got closer and closer together. But it was distracting because of your bald, your bald head. I heard that Ding. slap. <laughs> Imogen and I, mm -hmm. um, I had a, a, a little bit of um, a rough. We're kind of in a rough spot. Tiny Is bit she, of a, a fallout. Are you angry with her? N no, she's really upset at me, and rightfully so. Why? What'd you do? That that rock that she had. Do you um? I think I saw yeah. her holding one. Yes. I kind of got this impulse in the back of my head that was just wanting me to to reach out and and touch it. And next thing you know, my grip locked onto it. And I I couldn't open my fist and I lost control of my body and. I looked down and the rock had shattered. Okay, and you think she's upset with you because you broke her? She is, she is upset at me. She was instantly, um, you know, in tears and. Oh no. Um, she, she thought I had lied to her because I promised her that I wasn't going to take the rock. I just wanted to look at it and so, so she thinks that I lied. Oh, well, and, well, okay. And well, I don't, I don't know what to do. Are you jealous of Imogen in, in, in any way? No. Do you, do you, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just saying, like, is there anything that she does that that you that you that you wish you could do, or that uh, that, that a, a, an ability that she has, or a, or a heartbeat, or something that that she has that <laughs> that you don't have that you maybe you know subconsciously wanted to sort of get back at her for? No, no, it's not like that. I just want her to live her best life and to protect her from something that might hurt her, and I, I, I just, that's what I thought I was doing. That's, don't just go up to her and start talking about it. Make sure that she's in a, in a place where she's happy and safe, she feels safe. So keep her happy. Well, I mean. And keep her safe. Oh boy. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Maybe just work on yourself right now. Just call which one of these um, plastic swords do you think she'd want? Just wooden, wooden swords. <laughs> I don't know if they have plastic. Yet. Doesn't strike me as a as a as a. What about the oven replica mitt? Replica sword, an oven mitt. She, everyone can use that. I think she could. I could hide her hands. You know, if she or keep sure. them warm. Uh, does she cook? No, no, I don't think so. Well, it's still nice. You can. Yeah, it says T O T on it. What do you think that means? Taste, taste of Tabdor. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh I hope you weren't offended by what I said at the table. You are very gifted and talented oh, as no, no, no. well. And you were trying to build yes, her up just, to no, cover for your insecurities. Exactly. Sure, I got it. No, I feel we're good. Nope. Laudan <laughs> <laughs> and I have sort of a a, a bit of a, a fallen out. She did something that broke my trust. You know, it's weird because the, the longer it goes after, it feels like almost it was a good thing that she did, but I can't tell her that yet. And then as soon as we get here, you know, dusk shows up and all of a sudden, like, I'm hurting mm. and Laudan is just living it up with this new person, smiling and laughing like she doesn't even care that we had a fight. So, sorry, that was loud in your head and I apologize. It's cool, it's cool. And now I'm bald, but that's fine. I like it and stuff. 
So, yeah, well, I guess I'm a little distraught, or on, on that, I mean, you know, we figured out the blue thing. I'm sure we'll figure out the head thing. You have really fabulous cheekbones, <laughs> so you're selling it. it well, there was no fuzz. And yeah, I'm like, we're not talking, but I'm still touching my head and looking at <laughs> <in> her. <laughs> or I'm just nodding across the table. There was no fuzz right away, and there's already fuzz, so I think that's a good sign, because hair doesn't normally grow back that fast. <laughs> back to the point. Yeah. Are you wearing one of everything? You've got like head to toe mm -hmm. outfitted. Mm -hmm. Always good to support the arts. Oh, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go get some stuff. I'll be back. <laughs> Do you also stock up? No, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> Will you get like a, a t shirt or something? <laughs> That's Do they make t shirts? Four silver. Imogen wanted a t-shirt. I'd like to get one of the signs <laughs> that says, how do you want to do this? Gonna make a difference. <laughs> Those are back ordered. I could be a cat. I could be, oh. I could be a capybara. I could be, <laughs> I could be a spider. But well, I feel what like, about like a quokka or something? I could be a quokka for sure. You know, maybe very I would charm sweet. them. Maybe yeah, I would charm them. Charm them. Mm -hmm. It's unique. <laughs> Splitting the party. Maybe we just take a you minute. Look up a quokka. Well, yeah. yeah, how do you spell it? Is it Q U O K A. -K -A. You, keep, you keep role playing. The we could. The <laughs> These things. <laughs> do you like getting in there? I fucking love quokkas. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Can you give me a quokka? Real round, real round butt. Just oh real round. <laughs> round just a butt. Just be so cute. Oh. oh my god. I forgot everything we were talking about. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my god. <laughs> make, make, make the face again, make the quote face again. <laughs> I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna run in. Yeah. What's that Have fun. Yeah. I'm gonna run in. All right, here I just have to share because um, I searched if Quoke was Burrow and I couldn't find that answer, but I did find that I guess Quokas throw their babies as a manage of self defense. If, a, if, a pre, if, a, if they get scared by a predator, <laughs> they throw their baby Take at my it. kids! <laughs> and it beats them. No, they don't. You can try and push through. <laughs> Make a strength check for me. Oh, yeah. She gets stuck Still under that burned. damn door the same way she did on the other one. Yes. Ooh. Eight. She gets stuck oh. under the door. Oh you feel a hand grab you from the torso and lift you up, and a voice go, "Oh goodness, what's this?" <laughs> and like baby you, Adam. you feel your world. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so cute. Who are you? I start shivering. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what you are, but you're adorable. Oh my god, my guns, my guns. My, my, my cunt? My cunt? <laughs> I heard my cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Paging my cunt? <laughs> it is my cunt. Here, all NPCs are now named David. From here on out. We, yes, we can't have nice things. We cannot. Can we just, we, we, just, we, we can't have nice things. My name, Butts. My cunt, Harry Butts, get over here. <laughs> The spelling in my head was different. <laughs> but, oh, is this? but let's just say, oh, what is this? This is this is adorable. Oh my, What's how that? is this alive here? Did it just? I'm gonna call it Fuzz Bottom. Come with me, Fuzz Bottom, and kind of puts you under the arm and kind of like cradles you like a baby and begins to carry you towards the fortress. I'll just nuzzle into her. Let me check in with the others. Hold, please. Others. Um, so, Jed, FCG, um, I guess Fern is super adorable and he has been taken as one of the uh, Paragon's Guard's pets and well, is inside. I guess the question is, do we, do we act and send someone in to rescue her or just see how this plays out? Maybe just see how this plays She's, out or do you want to? Do we know how long she can stay as a I furry could, bottom? I could try to hmm. cast a spell on someone and have them go in and retrieve her. How long have we seen Fern last as a as a fuzz bottom? At most, about an hour. Is that, is that how long it lasts? Well, I mean, like you know, I, I I don't know why we can't have two initiatives going on at the sure. same time because mm. it sounds like she's going to do really good on two. the inside, but we could test two like, hours. What an outward response would be to some kind of threat. What a threat? What? Yeah. 
What would your suggestion be? Well, I mean, like, cause a fucking ruckus and then disappear, but then everybody else can, uh, you know, can see what happens. And see the response Yeah, time. where do they come out of? Where's sure, the barracks? Sure. Do they mount up quick? Actually, three hours now. Ooh. So it's have your level around it That's pretty cool. There, there is a middle ground where we just get whomever of us is the most unthreatening on the outside to go in and try and retrieve their animal creature. They'll yeah. respond like they're, you know. Do you think the Paragon's call is going to give up the cute animal? I don't know, but we'll I, at least see what their reaction I to have, it is. I do have a spell that might convince them to, but. Oh shit, I put Dusk on hold. <clears throat> oh, Dusk! Oh, Dusk! Oh. Uh, hello. So, sorry. We're still debating. Um, okay. Keep holding. <laughs> so, I put it back on hold, it's fine. So I guess maybe we can kind of do the same, <clears throat> if, if you trust Fern. To uh, implicitly. Okay. Fern is one of the most trustworthy people I've ever come across. Meanwhile, while you are being brought through the hallway and keeping watch on the low lit interior, the occasional kind of. Uh, you know. I go over and just pause and just sniff and try to just be real cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so fucking cute, I can't stand. Oh, stop it! <laughs> stop it! You're too cute, it hurts my heart! <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, hold on. Um, I just curl up in a little ball. Okay. Oh my god! Ah! Shh. And then leaves the room and closes the door behind you here. Oh shit. I'll take a nap. <laughs> You've only got a few more minutes left before I cannot talk to you anymore. Okay, it's everything's gonna be fine, don't stress. <laughs> and just takes you and no. Chucks you at a 20 foot arc. Oh, no. You just roll with it and getting dusty and stop and kind of coughing. I turn around real quick and before the doors close, I just smile at him. <laughs> Shouldn't have bit me, asshole. And he steps back as the gates. <laughs> Are you and uh, Ladna um, the thing? I'm sorry, what? Are you in. Are you and Lotna a thing? A thing? A thing. Like, what do you mean? Like, mm, romantically entangled. Um, no? Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, because I was, you know, kind of getting some vibes and everything, and I, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. I, I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good talk. So, Rodney. <laughs> I was wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, Imogen, uh, you. You, and you, <laughs> <laughs> you must have done something pretty fucked up if you are in, like, potholder territory, right? <laughs> I did something so Okay, it's okay. No, she's in one. Just come on. Come I don't on. want it. Here, come on. Just, just have a little. Just come on. Come on. Just, just. I don't want it. Just, <laughs> don't you? It just collapsed in ash. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't need to know what happened. It's not for me to know. It's your business. I broke her rock. <laughs> <laughs> She loved it so much. Okay. Then I killed it. Was, was it an accident? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does she know it was an accident? I don't think so. Okay. They took me out. They just were like, oh, it's a rodent, so just put you right out. Yeah, but that might not happen every time. I know, I know, I know. And I think I've definitely learned my lesson. <laughs> 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 it was the same smile. Okay. I'm sorry. My cocoa face, my mom, my cocoa face. I will try. I will try. Yes. Come on. Come on. 15. 15, he goes. Pleasure. Finishes writing up the receipt, folds it up. 
takes wow. it and tucks it into the case with the ring and passes it over to you. Jenny. Thank you. Of course. Uh, feel free to come by should you require anything else. Oh, thank you very much. Hmm. You plot, and at dawn, you plan. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end this episode there. We'll pick up next time, fresh in the morning, to engage in whatever series of chaotic plots you're putting together here, which I'm all for it on all scales. Come on, pulleys and levers. I am. Uh,